So on the inside there, it's Burgess, and also Kenny off well. And I'll say as they settle, it might be Kenny and her Knox teammate there. We're going to settle, and that's Watson. But Kenny already automatically out to the front here. So 2.30 is the best time for Kenny. There's a couple of 2.29s in this race. So to be expecting them through, probably around 72 seconds, I'd say they'll go through the lap. But Kenny, a bit of an improver this year. We've seen it quite a bit at Milers Club. And gee, that form's looking really good out front of this women's F800 metres. So we will endeavour to get a time check. Kenny leads it, her teammate there, which is Watson, in that next position. Sixty-seven seconds. You know, my seventy-two was well out there. The rest of the pack sitting on about the seventy mark, and that includes the Ringwood runner there in Crisp. So she's moving nicely there. Kenny's gone out hard. She's got three hundred metres to go. Crisp in the next position from Watson. Then it's Dee starting to make her move from Chilwell. Just gone past the Mentone runner there in Burgess. So Kenny, two fifty out now. Crisp in second position, Dej in third, then Watson and also Burgess. We've then got the ballerine runner there in Armstrong starting to make her way through. But out front, Kenny just holding that lead. Chris not making much of an inroad there. Dej made a bit of running, but then gone back into the pack again as we see Burgess starting to make a bit of a move, the Mentone runner. But 2.29, the best for... Kenny, sorry, 2.30. So just a big strong finish required here from Abby Kenny. We might see a massive PB, but Chris coming home strongly. Watson was in early, now she comes back into that third position ahead of Deej. But Kenny will take this out. Good strong running from the run, uh, from the start. So she'll take it from Chris Watson. Deej in next position, then the Mornington runner there. We'll leave that to the judges. Smiteri's through, then we've got Armstrong and Wilcock. <laughs> 